You've got a good lead, but lots of basketball left to play. Our passing has been very precise. I'll give you guys a lot of credit for that. We've been extremely smart with the ball, basically haven't given them any gifts whatsoever. We were able to make an impact with our low post offense. Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. Just a fantastic game for Fareed. He's got 11 points and a pretty good rebounding performance from him also. And, and Clark, he's been terrific in terms of his positioning and boxing out very well also, just battling hard on every possession. Here's Wurtis. And a lot of teams are looking for coaches that embrace analytics and look at data-driven approaches. Coach Scott is not one of those guys. He's an old-school coach who goes with his own perception. So the Lakers five right now. Randall out there with Williams. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. Then there's Robert Sacre. And it's Wurtis in at the point. And former coach of the year Byron Scott now with the Lakers. And... As you said, Greg, he's not an analytics guy. And Clark, I, I think two. he's a guy that uh, the eye test for him is yeah. huge. Yeah, he feels a lot. Terrific communicator and storyteller. Great experience as a player and as a champion. And I think that all is evident in his coaching style. Ryan, he's checked in for the Lakers. And so he hits both. 141 left to play in the third. Passes it to Barton. Now here's Freak. He's tightly guarded. Bryant with the rebound. Kobe's got four rebounds in this game. We've got 113 left in the third. Williams, that's good. Kobe doing a great job being a playmaker on that one. Looking at Los Angeles, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Thunder in Oklahoma City. And that's one of those games where I just felt the attitude going in was wrong. I think they believed what was being said about them in the press, and that was a game that they just couldn't win. I'm going to disagree with you here. I don't think it was about lacking confidence in themselves. I just think the talent difference between the teams was too much for them to overcome. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. Chandler dishes to Freak. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, take a look at the numbers for Freak. He has nine points, and when it comes to rebounding, he has, he's had a nice night there, too. He's not afraid to mix it up there in the middle, getting in there and doing a lot of the dirty work. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And to this point on the season, guys, 80% from the line. Right, he's now, done a really a good break. job. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw, good, freak. 
Tanking is something that all teams that are out of it tend to do. I hate that word, Clark, but it seems to be the one used by a lot. Nuggets didn't really try to hide it last season either. Well, you know, it certainly looked that way. Right around March, they just started sitting key players for no real reason. Uh, they framed it as rest, but it didn't quite look that way. Mm -hmm. And guys, for the Nuggets, it seemed to come out of the blue for their players. They all felt fresh, but the press release would say they needed rest. So obviously a bit of miscommunication there. It's deflected. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Laverne passes to Barton. Out of the dish to Freak. Two on the clock. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Freak's got six in the quarter. An open jump shot there, and their D not putting up any resistance today. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Nuggets lead by 17. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Randall's checked in for Hibbert. Nance comes in for Brandon Bass. And it's Williams in for Clarkson. Gallinari sits outside at three with Farid at the four. Moutier out there with Will Barton. And it's Freak in at the five spot. That's the group on the four for Denver. Williams, they get it back. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Wilson Chandler's checked in for Will Barton. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Nuggets. Anytime you get as many points in the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going and you just want to keep it going. Yeah, but also, they haven't missed a beat in terms of their fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. And the Lakers making a change here. Hibbert's checked in. And one feels bad for the way Julius Randle's career started. I was there that night, first game of the season, seventh pick out of Kentucky in the 2014 draft. Suited up for one game, broke his right leg 14 minutes in. And the guy that comforted him the most, I recall very vividly, Kobe Bryant yeah. stayed with him the entire time when he was really in shock on the floor. Yeah, he was. And unfortunately, for so many reasons, for one, he had really been progressing in, in the summer league. And the Lakers obviously had high hopes for him. And when he went down, that was the start of the rest of the ship kind of going down with him. Here's Bryant. And it's Freak with the rebound. Freak's got his third rebound tonight. Yeah, it's been about the rebounding. Really, that's the dividing line in this game. Yep, and they've simply shown more aggressiveness, guys. More desire to secure the ball. Gallinari kicks to Freak. Four on the clock. Chandler dishes to Freak. From about 16, it's rebounded by Roy Hibbert. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. The feed to Russell. 114 left here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Hibbert. On the wing, Williams. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Bryant can't get that one to fall. I think he's got to regroup and get himself together here. I mean, something's gone wrong with him this quarter. He's really falling off. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Nuggets. Clark, this was a physical, physical game. Yeah, but the awareness they had offensively to penetrate really was the difference. And in terms of the season record, this is going to be their 18th win overall. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far, they've won two straight. Yep, but two more to go before the end of the season, and they'll obviously be very confident heading into those two games. Chandler kicks the freak. Sacre with the block. There it is, passes to World Peace. And a miss there on the triple. Here's Nelson. This is the freak. Poke loose. Where's this? And 
the miss. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. Well, you know, it makes a big difference. I mean, you never felt like they had any doubt that they'd come out on top. Play, boy. And now play. we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing hey. by courtside. standing here with Jameer Nelson and what were the elements Jameer that helped contribute to this win uh, collective effort I mean we did things together defensively first and foremost and offensively you know we have enough guys to score the ball and guys are uh, playing together and uh, you know trusting one another and that's the big thing for us going forward Jameer thank you as always guys over to you thank you Doris great interview once again and that'll do it folks this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching and coming up next, the post-game show with Ernie Johnson, Shaq, and Kenny the Jet. The 2K Sports post-game show. Hey, folks, welcome back. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Let's take a look now as we give our nod to our Jordan player of the game. I think he came tonight with a specific intention not to be outworked by anyone. He owned the glass and got great position time and time again. I just loved his energy. He got on a nice roll and deserves a lot of credit for this win, Ernie, Kenny. He might not be the number one fan favorite, but this crowd will show him some love tonight. Guys on his team already know what he can do, but it's great to see him have a game like this. And that'll do it for tonight. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports crew. This is Ernie Johnson. Have a good night, everybody. The only color I care about is green, money. Now, you've certainly made some money so far, Freak, but it's time we make more money. I'm talking movies, TVs, endorsements, even your own brand Jordan sneakers. I care about the game fighters, Dom. All that sounds great, but don't you think it's a little too early to be talking about all that? Too early? LeBron was 12 years old in sixth grade when he was thinking Space Jam. It's never too early to take and make leaps. I guess. You guess? This isn't high school. This isn't college. This is the real world. And the real world is fueled by one thing. Oh, money. That's right. Money. Dollar bills, y'all. Why do you think they put presidents on them? Because that's what presides over us. I ever tell you guys about the first dollar I ever made? No, Don, but you're about to. Yo, check this out. CC, this is a great story, right? So I'm seven years old, Queens, New York, 1973. My older brother Lonzo, he's got a lemonade stand. So that summer, I'm like, Lonzo, you know, let me help out. Let me make a couple of bucks with you. He's like, all right, Dom, come on. I'll teach you the business. So I'm pouring tons of sugar. I'm squeezing the lemons. I got the lemonade stand all set up. I'm like, yo, I got this, right? So I'm watching during the course of the day. I'm noticing something Lonzo's doing. He's not charging for refills. That summer, I convinced Lonzo, no more free refills, and we made $2,000 plus tips. Today, Lonzo's Lemonade is a national brand and publicly traded. Oh, wow. That's dope. I'm not here to impress. I'm here to improve and to assist. I'm like the Italian-American Magic Johnson, running point for Team Freak. No, 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 no. <laughs> the only person running point around here will be me. CC. Look at my watch. What do you see? Not this again. I've seen the movie. This is diamonds and platinum. Gold, forget about it. Silver, forget about it. This is diamonds and platinum. It's power and speed, freak. This is what you have. You are on your way to being the biggest thing in the NBA. I'm proposing now that we dominate off the court as well as on. I can't believe I'm saying this, freak, but Don has a point. You've been establishing yourself on the court, and now it's time to take it off the court. Brand Jordan sneakers, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Listen, Freak, you're going to have to decide the legacy you want to leave. But I'm not some agent from the Yellow Pages. I'm Dom Pagnotti. I'm the man, the myth, the legend, the king, number one. I'm the best. And I'm a shark. And the Pagnotti shark is working for you. 
And we got to set new goals and bigger goals, okay? I'm talking all-star game. I'm talking dunk contest. When was the last time you saw an NBA great in a dunk contest, huh? I'm talking first-team all-NBA 